It's very simple for Space Station Gaming. Win and they advance directly to the YouTube Theater on Saturday. They skip tiebreaker day. They skip the lower bracket. Mm. They go uppers. But if they lose, all of a sudden, Pandora's box opens and we go into tiebreaker mode. And there is a world where Pioneers could be number one in the groups. They could enter into a potential tiebreaker with Dignitas if they win 3-1 or better. And to be fair, I think you do have to give Stumpy at least a little bit of credit. They did look exceptional against Dignitas just now, even if it ultimately resulted in a loss. But Space Station, if Daniel is locked in after yesterday's shaky performance, I think it's going to be a lot to ask from Pioneers here. And listen, if Space Station scores, you'll hear it. Trust me, we'll hear it. Even through the headsets, Banana Head going to clear this one away. Arsenal, the emotional leader of an incredible comeback victory for SSG yesterday, but it's Scrub who gets things going, and he's been a huge part of the Pioneers' success so far. Starting off well here, great approach from Banana Head in the corner, surprising Daniel by getting through Reynolds, and then Banana Head realizing there was some hesitation coming out of the net from him, threw a little juke as he headed up the wall, delayed the touch out, and that really t twisted him up on the goal line. So, and again, strong opener from Pioneers. They came to play. Scrub leading the team in demolitions, the stat that has kind of been the main talking point of this whole season. Nine demolitions, he had five against Scrub Killer. Take that for what it's worth. <laughs> Banana head against Arsenal, Super oh, Locky's man. there! And Super Locky makes it 2-0! Putting the pressure on Space Station early, Scrub able to, again, just absolutely confuse Space Station's goal line defense and way to come through and drop the hammer on him, Super Locky. This is exactly how the Dignitas series started. Two goals out of the Pioneers, then Dignitas came back and scored three unanswered. Space Station, Got to get it figured out sooner rather than later. I disagree with the points that Bates had on the desk about Space Station having less pressure on them. They lose their, their path to number one becomes a lot muddier. Yeah. Almost impossible in one case. But certainly not gone by any stretch of the imagination. If this one does go five, Space Station would be in that tiebreaker game with Dignitas. So we shall see. Now this one winds out as currently Space Station really struggling to get a foothold on the offensive side of things right now. Gotta love the midfield presence from Pioneers early on. Oh, demolition. Scrub couldn't get the shot off ahead of Arsenal. And now Daniel will take this away, but he got bumped by Banana Head. And it's gonna be Reynolds. Stuffed by Scrub. And again, struggling to get out of the zone is SSG. Daniel's got a full tank of boost. And then the de demolition from behind by Scrub. Leading in the physicality department. Off the backboard. There's Arsenal. Drop one right onto Super Locky. Follow up now from Daniel. Look at his center, and that's going to go far too strong. Does go over to Arsenal, but Super Locky is right there. So to a Scrub, here comes the Pioneers again. And Space Station should be looking to get opportunities to shoot in Arsenal's hands, see if he's still got that pixel perfect placement that he had yesterday is incredibly lethal when given opportunities on target. And that's a great demo from Arsenal as well, trying to open up some space for Space Station to get through that midfield line. They definitely tend to hold the demo heavy category over the Pioneers in terms of demos per game. And hopefully that can at least give them a little bit of breathing room. But so far, it's been locked tight for Pioneers in the midfield. It's been difficult find any space to operate on. Forced into the long clears and just seeing if they can hang on to the ball. Well, that man right there who just had the ball very briefly, Scrub, has been the X Factor for the Pioneers. Statistically, not all that impressive throughout the winter split, but he stepped up in a huge way here at the land as the great ones usually do. And Scrub trying to make a name for himself. So this is oh. left for Daniel. He pushed that one high and wide. And he and Space Station Gaming are going to want that one back. They may get another look. Arsenal off the crossbar, and Banana Head sends it away. Nice couple of approaches for Space Station. The misdirection was good as well. Pioneers really thinking hard about how Space Station was going to put that one on target. Unfortunately for them, Daniel wide off the post, and the second one off the bar. 
So Space Station starting to get the offense rolling here, but could be perhaps too little too late. Not a lot of time on the clock left. Scrub all day to play. This ball goes underneath one, but Rettles will boom it downfield. He's got Arsenal lining up a double, Whoa. and he just about nailed it, but off to the side. Rettles going up to the sky as well, but he was way, way late, and Scrub can clear this away. Space Station Gaming, their accuracy not on point at all. Super Lucky Ooh. just got to this before the demo, and Daniel is going to be contested by Banana oh, Head. Now go. Rettles. Got a chance here. He's going to have to take this himself. Heat-seeking missile there. Oh, Arsenal gorgeous. double demo, and that's going to do it. Daniel gets him on the board. That is just brilliant from Space Station. Reddle's thinking, oh, I'll pass. But then Arsenal says, no, I'm going to go get the demo. And Reddle says, OK, I'll pass it off the wall, and I'll go get the demo after that. And they really stitched that one together patchwork style. But that was a pretty looking way to get it done. And full confidence, you can see on the left-hand side, full confidence in the comms out of Pioneers. They understand. This is where Space Station can generate some momentum. They are dead set on stopping that. Rettles up to the ceiling, doesn't have it. Now Daniel gonna need some help and there is none coming. So SSG needs to reset for one or two more trips down the field. Arsenal indirect for himself off the ceiling. Ooh. Super Locky and Banana Head are double committed. And this is still okay. just awkward in the corner. Somebody's going to take it. charge. And the pass is set away by Banana Head. No time left on the clock as Daniel just got hung up on the corner. Super Locky trying to stuff this down, but Reynolds keeps it alive. Still got some hope to his left, ah. but that one win there by Scrub will end it. And the Pioneers take game one achieves. Nice opening again. Out the gates fast. Two goals incredibly quickly. And Space Station kind of left scratching their heads for a while there. But that last minute and a half, maybe two minutes, really started to find their footing. So you have to be concerned for Pioneers going into game two if Space Station able to come out there and start the next game like they ended the first one. So. You have to like the approach from Pioneers early on, though. I mean, that challenge game in the midfield doing an excellent job really boxing in Space Station. You know, this is a team in Pioneers that has to be far greater than the sum of its parts. You know, none of them are way up at the top of any particular stat category in Oceania, sure. except a couple. I think maybe shooting and maybe shooting percentage. But they all right around the same in assists. They all work great as a team, and they've been together since December of 2020. Team chemistry is so critically important for a team like this in this environment because, look, all that chemistry can overcome the talent of Daniel and Arsenal and Rettles here with, SS, uh, bleh, with SSG. As certainly proven in game one. They had a great approach to the game. The only problem is they're going to have to start making some adaptations because, like we saw, Space Station starting to get a little more physical, and that's really where Space Station thrives, creating chaos on the pitch, thriving and, and driving through the chaos, and that's where Pioneers are really going to have to fight hard to come away with a win. Scrub throughout the winter split, averaging just under a demolition a game. He has picked that up here at the major. Rettles lets everybody go by. He'll get a shot off here, but Banana Head stuffed him. I thought he was going to score after dropping that dribble. Up in front now for Arsenal, trying to get the flip reset. Still get the shot off again. And Pioneers letting SSG get very close to that blue goal. Now Rettles, nothing there, and Arsenal will jump up. Got to imagine Pioneers got to be a little more proactive if they're going to fend off SSG in game two. Definitely agree. You already know that you don't want to give space to Space Station because they will take it and they'll come and demo you, or if you just let them take pot shots like that, they may surprise you with their ability to place the ball impeccably. Banana Head dumps this back into the corner. It feels so weird. We're at an international LAN, so much on the line. First event in 27 months with fans. And we're saying, yep, Banana Head gets a shot off on the <laughs> Space Station Gaming goal. Uh, I, I love OCE, man. <laughs> you got to love a sense of humor. <laughs> Here's Rettles. Just going to leave that off, and Banana Head takes it away. So Daniel. Trying to get around Scrub. That bounces out high for Ooh. Arsenal. Double on the way! Bang, bang! Could you doubt it? Absolutely not the trajectory 
of that bounce. You couldn't ask for anything better. The perfect follow through on the backboard read. Arsenal tucking it in top left corner. Yeah, you can have that one. Daniel scored the lone tally for SSG in game one. Arsenal has them in front, their first lead of this series. Again, a series that if Space Station can win, they will go directly into the top eight at the YouTube Theater on Saturday. Banana Head, gonna have that drop back for Scrub. Daniel takes charge, trying to waste a little bit of time, give his teammates time to get boosted up and in position, and Arsenal will play it out towards Daniel. Super Locky, keen on the play. Now Scrub, nobody else can follow mm. up. Everybody's starting to turn around, and boy, that little hesitation again gives SSG all the window they need to get out of danger. That's exactly right. I mean, game one, Pioneers were thriving on really being able to consistently keep the pressure on Space Station Gaming, and Space Station is adapting by really trying to stick that ball close, take it down onto the ground, force dribbles, put possession on themselves, and make Pioneers come and take the ball away rather than just, you know, punching the ball up to the midfield and Pioneers winning a couple of challenges. And so far, I think Space Station's approach is really making quiet Pioneers question how aggressive they can be. Pioneers threatening to starve out SSG in their own zone. Got a boost steal, but they did not stop Arsenal from loading up. And he's waiting at the net as Rettles will clear this away. But Scrub intercepts. Looking for that midfield boost. Did not get it. He's working with nothing in the tank, but did as much as he could. And now Daniel plays that directly out. Scrub is waiting ah. for it and just could not get control. Yeah, he was trying to keep it close, kind of pop it up softly and take it again on a tap as that one's banana head save. Scrub to support. Arsenal floater and thankfully enough time to recover for the Pioneers in the net. Pioneers leading 1-0 in the last matchup of Group D. Arsenal diving down onto one. Scrub stopped him. Daniel and Super Locky meet in the air, but it'll be Rettles that comes away with it. Rettles flip reset. Nothing to do with it, so he just lets it come to the ground. Arsenal trailing in behind. He'll challenge Banana Head. That'll drop down in front, and <laughs> Super Locky and Scrub combine on the defensive effort. Look, Pioneers have been great defensively coming off the heels of a series that kind of got out of hand and away from them against Dignitas. They have answered back brilliantly here as we go to the final minute. Definitely tightening up on defense. The problems are stemming from creative offensive scoring chances for the Pioneers, however. Really not able to break down that Space Station defense, not able to create or find as many gaps. Arsenal takes out Super Locky on the far side, but nothing else comes of that. Banana Head couldn't get control here, so Super Locky has to come in off the respawn. Called into action far sooner than he would have liked. 30 seconds left now, Daniel. Bank is open, no, it's off the crossbar. Nobody got up for that ball, and I think Scrub was just hoping against all hope that that ball was off target. Fortunately, it was, but you're not seeing Pioneers move very quickly out of their zone at all. They're the team that's down one, and they're just being stuck at their own back line. Oh, Plenty boost of boost deal. as a team, and they finally do clear midfield with five seconds left. Scrub was super lucky in behind. He's got to try and chase this down and barely uh, does, but that spiked down and we're all tied up at one game. Really getting gummed up in their own corner. That was incredibly tough for uh, the Pioneers to, to figure a way out of their own half. Space Station Gaming very comfortable and just sending one after the other into that corner and, and fighting for the ball in the corner. So. Uh, pretty textbook game, I would say, for Space Station. Really not having to do anything too crazy. It was kind of just, okay, we're not going to increase pressure. We're not going to take a step back. We're really just going to keep driving through and, and seeing if Pioneers can find a way to break down our ability to bring the ball down and take it away from us. And Pioneers don't really have an answer to that at the moment, it would seem. Sometimes the best defense can indeed be a suffocating offense, and that's what we saw at a Space Station. Sure, only seven shots. It's not like they completely dominated, but the key number is that they held Pioneers to only three shots on target and sure sometimes the numbers lie a little bit and there are some shots that were a little wide that counted there weren't that many scoring opportunities for Pioneers yeah. they were just not comfortable at all on the orange half of the field that's really what you're looking for here in game three you if you are going to try and beat Space Station you certainly don't want to get the ball stuck on your own corner. Again, big fan of trying to move the ball laterally in your own half for Space Station to spread themselves out and open up at least some lanes towards that midfield to at least get yourself unstuck from your own side and give yourselves a chance to at least go down the pitch and try and retain possession. But 
The next step after that is stopping Space Station's control. That's a great d dish, and that is going to be tapped home. Banana Head coming through right on time. Yeah, it would have been a crying shame if they did not get this through. That's a brilliant pass out of Scrub that in the stats he won't get any credit for, but certainly well done. Pioneers get a lead early in game three, and that's the key for the Pioneers. Get in front early, not let SSG start that snowball rolling downhill. We saw kind of our first arsenal roar of the day. Got to keep him in check because as he goes, so too does SSG. And you got to like the start from Pioneers, as you were saying. 30 seconds and already doing a good job to at least push Space Station back into the orange half. And here's their first real test. How quickly can you break out of your own? That shot on target over Super Lucky, but Banana Head had to save. Thrown in front again, and Scrubs got all day to play this ball. He did not have much going on in game two at all. Trying to get himself involved in this series, because he's going to need to. You know, you cannot, cannot have any weak links against a team of this caliber as this goes across, and Banana Head will chase it down on the, far, on the near side. Oh, oh I like that idea. Bump. Unfortunately, nobody else could get to the ball. Yeah. So, you know, great idea in theory and practice. Need a little more coordination. Daniel has the flip reset. Waited oh. until the last <laughs> moment, and Reynolds will finish off the play. And again, here you see the Pioneers. Look at them get stuck on their own goal line here, trying to figure out what Daniel is even doing with that approach. Is he going to try and drive it towards the backboard? Is he going to try and drive it into the top corner of the net? No, he's going to just take all the space you've given him down in front and dish it across the box where Reynolds is waiting for it. <laughs> so many different looks to contend with. It's tough. I mean, I think everybody identified he had the flip reset, and so often we'll see somebody will wait, 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 go for like a ground pinch. No, very creative play, getting the pass off, and Reynolds right there on the spot. Banana Head will clear this away right at Daniel, and well, he's the last guy that Pioneers want to see on the ball. And, for SSG, so important for Daniel to get going after he struggled early in the series against Dignitas yesterday, and then he looked like Daniel again as we got near the end. Certainly starting to settle in for sure. Missed clear though, and mm. thankfully Reddle's able to bail him out, coming back on rotation from the midfield as Pioneers starting to get kind of their first chance at regaining offensive control as Daniel with a great mix okay. up there, delaying the timing. and. Again, this ball just stuck in this Pioneer's corner, and that's been really the big problem for him. There's been no easy ways out of there, and Daniel got caught grabbing boost, but indeed, just in time, Arsenal rotating back. This is not a matchup that Reynolds and SSG were particularly worried about coming in. I mean, I think they kind of had the tunnel vision on Dignitas, like, all right, that's the big hurdle to overcome. Fortunately for them, they had that out of the way before this Whoa. series as Super Locky bullies his way through. And I have to imagine SSG are getting far more than they bargained for out of Pioneers. It's been a fight so far. They haven't really had to link, relinquish contr control of the game too often, but Pioneers are certainly making them work quite hard offensively to really break them down consistently as Daniel trying to stick Super Locky to the wall there. Unfortunately for Pioneers, still struggling to really keep possession, and it's that physical play as you see Reynolds taking a big bite out of Super Locky in the midfield, opening up that space for Space Station Gaming, and then that natural speed and mechanical ability coming through to not give them a second goal. Scrub is going to get deflected out into his own corner, and Space Station threatening. Uh, Super Locky has been bullied throughout this series. They have targeted him, it seems like. Banana Head. Always able to make the most of an awkward situation on the pitch. Now it's Arsenal. Sky one up there for himself. And it's all the time in the world for Banana Head. There's nobody on the blue half of the field other than Arsenal way across the field. And now Daniel. Gonna have that drop down to the corner. Final minute. Overtime looming in a critical tie-breaking third game here. Super Locky lets this go. Now he'll have it. I think both teams playing far more conservatively than they have at any other point in this series, and that's got to favor Ooh. Pioneers. Not if you make missed touches like that. Super Locky able to deflect it out into the corner. That's a good demo to really try and take the midfield presence away from Space Station. Unfortunately, they've kept control of the ball. 
And now they have time to get reset. Super Locky with a little bit of space, but there they are. Space Station ramping up the pressure as regulation comes to a close. Yeah, with everybody not moving around a whole lot, you'd have to imagine it's open season for a team like SSG to rack up demolition. Seven seconds left. Rettles in an awkward spot on the back wall. Rolls this out. Surely overtime, right? As Scrub got this away. <laughs> Touchdown to the ground. Overtime tied at one in games, tied at one in goals. Somebody's going on match point, and how critical could it be? You know, Dignitas, the biggest Pioneer fans right now. Here's a big chance for Pioneers. You've kept this one within reach, and while you haven't had a lot of offense, all it takes is one good counterattack, or perhaps a little outplay somewhere in the middle, and it might come right here, Daniel. It's trying to regain control on the walls. Banana Head doesn't have any help. Super Locky's too close, and Space Station gonna get out of a jam right there. That's super important for the Pioneers. If they drop this game, even if they win the series after that, they're still going to go third place down into the lower bracket. They would just be competing for a shot at Dignitas, getting into a tiebreaker to try and take number one from SSG. Rettles didn't get the shot off, so he tried to get the flip reset, tried to make the most out of it, and it's Daniel. Beaten there by Banana Head, so now Rettles with Arsenal waiting at midfield for him. Rettles took it himself, could not score. Daniel follow up, saved by Super Locky. Another attempt sent Great away clear. by Scrub, and now here's Banana Head on a quick counterattack. Rettles trying to chase down Super Locky, couldn't catch him. Oh. You come at the king, you best not miss, and he just narrowly avoided giving up the game winning goal. SSG breathing a huge sigh of relief. There's a scary pinch to deal with out of that top left corner. And Daniel back the other way. It's Banana Head already on the backboard to take that one away. That one's pinched towards the net off target as Scrub. He's just going to clear the space and I think that will favor Pioneers. Now they really approach Space Station with a lot of momentum behind them on the attack. It's just, can they win the challenges? And Daniel making sure to keep that ball high and away and find a solid double touch to put Pioneers on the back foot. Oh. Banana Head just sweeping that away from the upper corner. Well, what a win by Arsenal to keep that available. Now Rettles for Daniel. Banana Head got there first with a double touch and another to send this downfield where Super Locky was chasing, but he could not steal that corner boost, and that could be critical. Here comes SSG. Arsenal for the win denied by Banana Head. Now Daniel going to sky it up. Got around one. Got around two. One more for good measure, and oh. that's going to be Reynolds putting SSG on match point. You knew as soon as Daniel was through the second player here, Super Lock. He's so aggressive trying to take that one away, and Scrub wasn't positive on how he wanted to approach. Ended up taking kind of a passive line to go and challenge Daniel, and he paid for it. Now the only opportunity for uh, Pioneers here. Got to come back and win five, otherwise... Uh, actually, no, I don't believe it matters. They're right, locked no, in. They don't matter now. Yeah, so Pioneers have been locked into the third seed. Still played out for pride, and if nothing else, of course, competitive integrity, right? You, you still Certainly. have something to play for here for Dignitas, who are going to be hoping that Pioneers can turn things around. But man, oh man, you still, with that lengthy game, going seven minutes plus, still SSG drastically out shooting the Pioneers as we look at the Mobile One high performance replay and we see Daniel doing all the work and Rettles getting all the credit. <laughs> Elation all around, Rettles happy to take that one away from him as they should be and Space Station can take a lot of comfort there. I think that's a good play to really show Daniel has indeed found his stride here at the Major. A lot of questions being asked yesterday or today of how he was going to perform. And he settled in nicely here on day two after a, a bit of a scrappy day one on defense to be sure, but Space Station in general, and Arsenal, he's, he's grooving. Yeah, he was doing that yesterday too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Arsenal is ready to book his ticket to the YouTube theater. He can do it outright here with a win. Gets a little help from Daniel and Rettles who have been phenomenal here in this series. On a day where, look, SSG has not been at its best. You credit the Pioneers for kind of mucking up the game a little bit, not letting SSG get out into open spaces like they usually prefer. Super Locky dishes this to the corner. And Rettles will watch Arsenal run back and Daniel take charge. A lot of space again for Space Station pushing onto the blue half. And this one, a very passive approach. Great takeaway from Scrub. Scary opportunity, but well handled. And Pioneers trying their best 
to again find some way to hold some type of consistent offensive pressure. And that's been the biggest problem through for them in this series, the inability to take control away from Space Station. Well, Super Lucky doing well to avoid the demolition attempt, but then Scrub taken out by Rettles. And now Banana Head has to take this away from Arsenal and take Arsenal away from the field. First minute gone by as Banana Head will bring this downfield again, and Daniel right there to meet him. Arsenal off the respawn, full tank of boost. He'll be waiting in case Daniel couldn't get that clear. Rettles coming down to the ground, and he just let that one go, so Scrub will take over. I don't know if SSG feels all that threatened when Scrub is on the ball, but when Super Locky and Banana Head are there, boy, it almost seems like they're sitting up a little bit, and they are going right after, making sure they don't give them nearly as much space. Well, certainly, however Space Station are doing it, they do need to get a handle on their defensive rotation at the moment, as currently they're kind of forced to punt the ball back towards the midfield line, and of course, as I say, Pioneers kind of drop the ball. They don't have that on-ball command as Banana Head comes up empty, but nobody from Space Station is ready for it. They all needed to split off and grab some boost, and now they've really got boost in the tank to go and attack this Pioneers defense. Oh, Daniel just got the shot through here. You can see one defender strafing across the line. It was Super Lucky at the last moment who could not catch up. And SSG are now less than three minutes away from the top eight. Probably the worst possible outcome to that challenge for the Pioneers defense, popping straight up into the air after the defender dismounts the backboard because you're not getting back up to that in time before Space Station gets there. And they jumped all over it. And again, nice early, lead. well, not early, but first goal and, and putting a lot of pressure on Pioneers to come out here and be aggressive and try and make something happen and try they do, but locked down in the corner of the net. I think SSG is playing with fire here when they give Scrub as much time as they have. Eventually he's going to burn them or he's going to burn somebody. Scrub banks this out to Ooh, Super Lucky off the challenge. Daniel's got to come in and grab that boost to make sure they don't get starved out. And Scrub going to turn around on this. They got Rettles deep in Pioneer territory, and he came yeah. back and got the bump. And look how far everybody else is away from the play. Just one bump, enough to disrupt the Pioneers. See if they can reset with Super Locky leading the charge. Arsenal's got to get there and does. Now Super Locky can't ah. center. He missed on it. And Banana Head can't do much with that ball either. That's the other issue for Pioneers. You can't afford to miss on your approaches because that's how you're going to create the pressure on Space Station. You have to make them feel like they need to respect your options. If you're not converting some of those, you're going to give them a lot of space and a lot of time to reset themselves. Arsenal really trying to, I think, just poke that one in the top left corner, hit it a little weak as this one's dished down to Daniel. Cut down to the left side. Oh. It's off the bar, and that could have been insurance. Arsenal will come through and make sure to get the job done. Arsenal might have just secured passage to the YouTube theater. Daniel will get credit for an assist. I'm sure he's smiling over there thinking, yeah, Whoops. yeah, great pass, huh? Yeah, <laughs> sure thing. That's 2 okay. Oh, Pioneers, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? Uh, hey, all hands on deck at this point. Doesn't matter how many more goals you give up if you can't score any of your own. Rettles couldn't get rid of this ball. Banana Head, oh, missed on it again. And that has been the theme for Pioneers. They've started both series brilliantly. Yeah. And over time, they've just kind of fallen off. We've seen so many misses. There's Super Locky getting one back with a minute one to go. And life back in the lungs of Pioneers. Kind of just trying to figure this one out. Oh, Rose just misses the backboard clear. And nobody from Space Station Gaming getting a piece of that ball. Daniel still had to rotate back the entire length of the pitch. And that's what happens. Space Station not infallible. Mistake out there. Let's Pioneers back into the game. Minutes a lot of time to work with here. Skyed up now for Arsenal to just try and waste a lot of time and waste time he has. Then got the bump on Banana Head as Scrub was trying to get this downfield. And you can see up in the top left corner, Pioneers trying to do a whole lot with not much boost. Banana Head just got a full canister, but Daniel will dump this right back in. And now Rettles around the corner. More time burning away as Pioneers try to scramble to get back into this series. 22 seconds and counting. Time the enemy of Pioneers 
as they try to keep Dignitas hopes of top eight alive, or at least direct top eight. Ooh. Arsenal to the ground, 10 seconds left. And this is just textbook. How do you close out a game? Right there, Arsenal, as SSG smother the Pioneers. Pace is how you get it done. Daniel, go get them attitude up there out of the midfield. Just keep it jammed in here. Don't give Pioneers an opportunity to find the long clear, try and put together something in zero seconds. Just put them down. And Arsenal realizing his teammate had the defense beat, put him away. So Pioneers will drop down into the lower bracket when we resume play tomorrow for them. But it's Space Station Gaming who's moving directly to the upper bracket. No play tomorrow. They go right to the YouTube theater on Saturday. And hey, at least two shots at a backflip out of Arsenal. Solid and, and consistent series in general from Space Station Gaming. And, and that young man stepped up big time too. Daniel had a, had a monstrous series after, again, struggling yesterday against Dignitas. Tough couple of losses here as well. You can see Pioneers need a little time to figure it out. They don't have to play tiebreakers tomorrow either, but 